God stand and would you stand as we go to the Lord and pray this Oh, 
Now listen, I used to tell people, I, I, I shouldn't say it, but I'm going to. I wear a suit sometimes. Sometimes. But I've gotten away from that. God's delivered me. Huh? I used to tell people, when I come to church, I want to smell weed on somebody when I walk through the door. I want to smell somebody just down that bottle of liquor because I want to get those people. Those are the real people that I want to preach to. I don't want to preach to somebody that's got so much dignity in their life that they can't even admit to themselves that the world took something from them. That's the problem. They say that the first step to recovery is realizing that you've got a problem. Hello, somebody. We're no better than each other. We're all fighting the same battle, and the world has been taken. And take you and take you. And it's time that somebody tell the world there's some things in my life that you cannot take. You cannot have my joy. You cannot have my holiness. You cannot have my righteousness. You cannot have my own soul. There are some things in this world that you cannot take. I'm glad God people got that. We'll get, we'll get funny here in a minute.
we take up an offering. Why? Well, he said, that where we'll take it. I've been paying my house payment. They come and take my house. But that's what we're talking about. Call me and want me to take up some type of offering. Huh? The world done stole your, never mind. They stole your common sense. You need to break and get it back. Huh? I'm talking about things of the spirit. I'm talking about those things that really matter. I'm talking about those things that keep you up at night. I'm talking about the depression. I'm talking about the anxiety. I'm talking about your peace of mind. I'm talking about the marriage, the kids, all the blessings in your life that God's already promised over you. The world can't handle. And the reason is because they're his. This ain't my anointing. Is he is. Preaching this gospel is not my gift. It's on loan. I, I loan it from him. It's his. Y'all finally get to watch me. I'm coming long enough. Three, are you ready? If. If. Look at somebody and say it's conditional. If in any type of literature always denotes a condition. If. Even in North Carolina state law, if is a condition. If you do this, then I'm going to do that. The same if that we see, if my people which are called by my name will do this, X, Y, and Z, then I will do X, Y, and Z. But it says here, as Paul's writing to a church in Colossae, he says, if, then, here's the condition. Okay, y'all get it. If then, you have been raised. Come on. We're not probably going to get out of this. I need that. Come here, wife. Come here, son. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here. Stand there. Yes, speaking in an unknown tongue, all these things prophesy. 
most sentimental things for your life is hidden in Christ, in God, when Christ, who is your life. What's it say? For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ. in God. When Christ, who is your life, right. appears, yeah. Yeah. then you also appear with him in Let me do something. But this I talk to my mind. I, I, I 
I've seen this struggle before. I've seen this storm before. And he didn't let me die in the first one. He didn't leave me alone in the first one. And therefore, I have hope. You need to tell the enemy, you can't take my story. You can't take my beauty.
kids and daughters, you. Come on. Yeah. He's given you everything. I give you this good life. I told you out of that mess that you was living in. And you're going to turn your back and walk away from me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Many of you don't walk away. But in the third chapter of Hosea, God speaks to him and he says, Go again, Hosea. So 
will I also lead you for the children of Israel that shall dwell many days.
Psalm 27 says, unless the Lord builds a house. Those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city. It is in vain that you rise up early and go to bed late. But behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of a womb is a reward. Like arrows in the hands of a warrior are the children of one's youth. God's gifts to us come in many different forms. And one of the greatest gifts that He can give us is the ability to steward one of His children. Yes, they may be yours in a physical sense, but they're really His. And what baby dedication is, is where we say, God, give this child back to you. Place it back to you. We put his life in your hands. We trust you with this child. God. It's your way. So what I ask this morning is as we dedicate this very little baby. That was three months. Get in on this 